Good morning, dear friends. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. After a day's gap, we are here again on the second day of this new week. And before we begin our activities for today, let us be at the feet of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is our best teacher. Let him lead us into the truth of God's word. Our meditation is a continuation of uh, Saturday's uh, subject, and which is how precious and uh, how important is faith in a believer's life. Based on the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 20, 30, 22, verses 31 and 32. And let me read it for you to recollect uh, what is the context? Uh, this is concerning the prediction of Jesus uh, to Peter, how he was going to deny him. It says, we read here, um, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail, and when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. You see, it was the faith of Simon Peter that was going to be tested and attacked by the devil. And he asked the Lord God to give him permission to sift uh, Peter. And God gave him the permission because Peter needed to learn a lesson. He was so self-confident and... Uh, uh, that self-confident led him to believe that he was ready to go with Jesus, follow him wherever he goes, and then go to prison and even die. And to this statement of Peter to Jesus, Jesus gave these words as a prediction. And how the devil has asked permission, and permission was granted to sift to Peter, and how Peter will be, uh, uh, will be tested uh, by denying Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what happened. But notice what Jesus said to him following this. But Simon, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail you. And that is why Peter uh, was again restored. Because, and then later on we found uh, him totally changed and he became a strong like a solid rock and how he gave his life he was crucified upside down uh, as a martyr at the end so he was like a rock he became it is all because Jesus prayed for him and my friends I want to tell you this many of us who are still in the faith is only because our Lord intercedes for us. As you know, that is his present ministry. He ascended into heaven after resurrection, and then he was seated at the right hand of God the Father. And he is at the right hand of God the Father. His present ministry is interceding on behalf of his disciples. And if you, have, if you are a disciple of Jesus, don't be afraid. No matter what test come into your life, Jesus Christ is interceding for you. And what a wonderful friend we have in Jesus. He understands and he intercedes. He also knows what you can be by the grace of God. And so that's why we are still uh, standing as saved people. And he has given us the grace. And so last uh, Saturday, that Saturday's meditation contained four of the six reasons why the devil target our faith and then attack our faith. And we found that all of the graces and all of the blessings we have, it is all well protected and strengthened only because of faith. And so faith is sort of the foundation. And so let us continue this meditation. We considered four reasons, and I hope you will remember. And if you cannot remember, please go back to Saturday's meditation and listen again. Now, the fifth reason the devil target 
the faith of God's people is because faith is the effective, efficient grace. Read Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11 is a, is, is a hall of fame of uh, heroes of faith. And in the chapter, you will read how people, men and women, their faith did everything impossible. According to this chapter 11 of Hebrews, what are the things they accomplished by faith? Here is the list. They conquered kingdoms and they administered justice, gained promises, and shut the mouths of lions, and quenched the fury of fire, escaped sword, weakness was turned into strength, and um, uh, routed foreign armies, and women received back their dead, persecuted and tortured, yet they chose death rather than denying Jesus Christ. These are the things that faith accomplished in the lives of these men and women mentioned in Hebrews chapter 11. My friends, they were not stronger than we are. They were not super beings. They were just ordinary men and women, just like you and me. And yet, consider these achievements purely by faith. Faith in a God who is alive and who cared for his people. And those who have a determination to remain faithful to God in spite of all the persecution, torture, and all these problems on our way. God gives them the grace to be true and to be overcomers. And um, why they were persecuted and tortured and yet they chose death. Why? That they might obtain a better resurrection along with us. That's why, for these reasons, Satan cannot endure faith. Faith can overcome any, uh, any, any, any uh, problems, any mountains, and any uh, hindrances. Faith can. But we need to exercise that faith and cultivate that faith and uh, strengthen the faith by more and more going into God's word and we become rooted and grounded in the knowledge of God's word and the word of God will feed our faith and make our faith stronger day by day as we depend on God's grace and God's word and uh, be obedient to God's word. How does the word of God minister to our faith? When we obey God's word, and that is the way. That obedience will feed our faith and make us stronger. Hallelujah. And I pray that you and I, in the days to come, you know, persecution is increasing in India, as you know, and as I told you in another meditation. But in the midst of it all, look at what is going on today because of this virus. And uh, people are uncertain about their tomorrow. So many thousands of lives all over the world have been snatched away before their time due to this virus. And when things like this happen, what gives us hope and courage? Our faith. Faith in the Lord who is in control of every situation. And uh, just like Pharaoh, who decided to uh, throw all the male children into the river Niles and uh, kill them. And what was the purpose? Because he was afraid. What was he afra afraid? Boy children would become or grow up 
to be soldiers. He didn't fear girl children, but he feared men children because they would stand up and fight in the days to come. And uh, uh, he was afraid of the Israelites because their uh, population growth rate was much higher than the Egyptians. And they became more numerous than the Egyptians themselves. And so he was afraid that one day they will pick up some weapons and they will fight and get out of their land. And they will lose their services. And so Satan says, down with faith. And therefore his demons will target our faith. Let us be very careful, knowing this truth, let us guard our faith and do everything uh, in order to make our faith strong. For it is the strength, it is the secret of strength. What? Faith. That is the man-child in you. The man-child in you will grow up and rise up as strong warriors. And so, he must be killed. That's what Satan advises and teaches his demons, whom he appoints to trouble us. Faith begins to claim when you are weak, sick, lonely, discouraged. At that time, Faith stands up. So let us be aware of this. And the sixth reason why the devil target the faith of God's people is he, he, he target faith because faith is the most repulsive to Satan. Because God loves it. God loves the faith that is in you. And if you check and examine the miracles of Jesus, very often he told his, the people who came to him for healing or deliverance, he said, according to your faith, let it happen to you. So if the faith says, if I only touch Jesus, I will be healed. And I am sure I will be healed. And that faith gives you strength, even though your body may be too weak. And you will have to drag yourself to approach Jesus. But once you are there, just with your weak and trembling hands raised up and touch the hem of your, his garment, and that is the faith. If I only could come to Jesus, and if it's only uh, that I touch Jesus, I will be healed, and I will be delivered. I will be strengthened. My hope will arise within me, and I shall be on my feet again. Hallelujah. God loves faith, and Christ crowns faith. I am sure Satan hates it. And to the centurion, Jesus said, great is your faith. And to the Syrophoenician woman, your faith has healed your daughter. And in all these incidences, they found that the people on whose behalf they came to Jesus for healing, they were healed instantly, even though Jesus and the patient was at a distance. And to the woman with an issue of blood, he said, your faith has made you whole or well. What was her faith? <clears throat> her faith was Jesus. If I could only touch Jesus. <coughs> and to the disciples he said, Let not your heart be troubled. 
have a faith in God, also faith in me. And if you have a faith in God, he will protect your heart from being troubled. And in some places, the work of Jesus could not be accomplished anything. And Jesus was hindered by what? By unbelief. He could not do many miracles because of the unbelief of that, the people in that such city or town or village. And, you know, turn that verse around. The verse that says, because of their unbelief, he could not do many miracles. Turn that, that verse around and say like this, Satan cannot do mighty works against you because of your faith. Where unbelief is, Satan wins. But where faith arises, the Lord Jesus Christ wins. And so that's what you must say. Satan cannot do mighty works in me. He cannot do any, any mighty works in my family. He cannot do any mighty works against my marriage. He cannot do uh, anything against my job or against my health. Because I have a faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my shepherd, and I will not lack in it. My friends, this is the way we display our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is honored. He is glorified and he is lifted up before others. May the Lord grant you his grace that you may be successful in your faith life. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for those who have listened to this meditation. Let faith arise in all of them, the faith that conquer. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people today in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, this is a great day to exercise your faith and lift up Jesus' name. This is a wonderful day. Have a great day ahead of you. Amen.